This video is going to cover uh, a review of the No Surprises Act. Uh, we'll go over some uh, potential flaws and how to avoid them. An overview of this act has uh, been signed into law, uh, deadlines, and some testing. Uh, I don't expect this to be a long video, so let's jump in and go over this very quickly. Uh, this No Surprises Act is an act that was signed into law in December of 2020. Basically, uh, what is trying to be accomplished here is to help the patient avoid these massive bills that are coming out of medical services. Now, this applies to both those that are part of a plan and also to those who do not have insurance, both. Uh, if you do not have insurance coverages, uh, the bills that come uh, should be reasonable and not excessive. Uh, specifically targeted are areas like air ambulances. There's many folks that have been financially destroyed by those type of astronomical bills. Um, as is typical uh, in many of the processes that might be implemented uh, by the government, uh, the mandate went out, but the details uh, were not really ironed out. And this is certainly one of those cases as well. Uh, I'm going to go over some details of, of what the problem is. Basically, uh, when you send out a claim, uh, which is uh, kind of like, I don't want to call it a test claim, it's actually for review, uh, they don't really have all of the elements ironed out or specifically, so we're going to present to you some solutions for that. Um, I think uh, probably at a high level, you need to understand that this was uh, signed into law in December of 2020. This is 2021. And as of January 2022, it's going to take effect. So uh, if you haven't started testing on this, you should probably jump into it. Um, let me uh, apologize for that pop up. Let me go into an actual example uh, and show you what the data might look at. I'm going to use the CAT claim adjudication system and I'm going to pull up a claim. So I'll show you exactly what the problem is. If we go down, for example, and look at this segment right here, uh, when the uh, No Surprises Act uh, has been put out, in this 19th element, CLM 19, there's a predetermination of benefits. Let me show it to you right here. It would look something like this. Now, notice uh, this particular claim uh, is actually a an institutional claim, you can see this is SV2. If it was professional, it would say SV1. And the code to use here is a 08. Now, um, they haven't, I don't believe, actually mandated these yet. Uh, I suppose that they'll come around. Uh, right now, let me just show you some examples in the guide of what I'm talking about also. This might help out also. Here is a dental claim, for example, and you look at S or CLM 19, it shows PB as the code to use for predetermination of benefits, okay? But if I were to take, uh, for example, a professional transaction and go down to CLM 19, you'll notice that here it's listed as not used, see? So they didn't even bother to put a code in there. So uh, once again, we have a situation, you know, where a mandate was put out, and uh, there's no solution provided. So uh, what we're doing here at the Remora Bay Company is actually showing you what the standard X12 uh, uh, values are uh, for this. And uh, the values are 0A for predetermination and uh, PB for predetermination uh, for dental. I don't know why they're uh, different. I think it would be a whole lot simpler if everyone just used 08. But uh, the standards that we're looking at uh, is actually using 08 for CLM 19 for institutional and professional and CLM uh, 19 equals PB for dental. So uh, this will give you kind of a basic overview of you know, what that process might look like when you start to implement those. If you would like to do some testing with this, let us know. Uh, if you'd like some more details, uh, we're open to discussion and um, we'd love to hear your comments or your questions or 
concerns over the No Surprises Act, again, going into effect January 1st, uh, 2022. And so, you know, we're looking at, you know, basically about seven or eight months or so to get this thing all squared away. So if you're not testing or working on this, you should probably get to it. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, you can email us uh, edi.dallasazoho.com or leave a comment below. Uh, we'd love to hear from you and thanks for watching my video.